Hey everybody, welcome back. Just wanted to make a quick video today about regenerative braking in electric vehicles, but Tesla specifically. So first, what is regen braking? So instead of using the traditional brakes in your car, the electric motor can actually give resistance to slow your vehicle. And in doing so, it can regain some of your kinetic, your forward moving energy and put that back into the battery. This helps your electric vehicle be more efficient and charge uh, actually while you're driving. If you're going down a hill, or you're just slowing uh, for a stop sign or something, you'll actually be putting energy back into the battery. So in a Tesla, you really want to uh, manage your speed by using the accelerator uh, more or just using it less, not exactly pulling off to kind of slow controlled. If you're coming to a stop sign or a stoplight, you can let off completely. Your car will slow all the way. You don't have to even touch the brake uh, until maybe six miles per hour or five miles per hour. Uh, and then for me anyway, I'll use the brake just to get to zero. Uh, a lot of times I won't use the brake at all. I'll turn, um, I'll slow as much as I need to just from the regen braking. And in doing that, you're recharging your battery and driving more efficiently. So regen can be limited by two factors. One is the temperature if your battery's cold and two is if your battery's full. So of course, if your battery's full, there's nowhere to put any energy so you can't use the regen braking to slow down. Temperature is a lot more variable and that's why I started early in the morning. So I can show you here, these dotted lines are my limited regen. So I can only regen to here. So the regen starts in the middle. Uh, you'll see the green going this way is me gaining energy. And if it goes this way, the black means I'm using energy. So here I'll, I'll move forward. You can see I'm using energy and I'm gonna let off the accelerator. So now I'm gaining energy. Now I'm going slow, so I'm only gaining a little bit, but if you're going 40 or 50 or more miles per hour, and you let off, this green bar is gonna go all the way to the limit. And I'm not gonna be able to slow as much as if my battery was warm. And you'll see throughout the drive, um, I'll just kind of update you at the end, that there'll be no or less dotted lines here. So I'll have my full regen ability back uh, with my warm battery. So you can have full regen in the morning or more regen in the morning if you uh, pre-warm your car. So just while it's in the garage plugged in, you go to your app and turn the heater on or uh, if you are charging your battery, that actually will warm it. So sometimes in the morning, I'll expand my charge limit from 80 to 90% in the app. So as I'm getting ready in the morning, my car is charging, it warms the battery, and then I have more regen. It's not something you have to do, uh, but it can be nice to be a little more efficient. This is another reason to just never charge to 100% because there, then you're you're losing some efficiency. If you're at 100% or near 100%, you'll have no regen, you'll be going downhill, and you can't gain any of that energy. Whereas if you only charge to 90%, you can gain energy from the road as you're driving. Okay, so we'll turn onto this street to show the regen working. So here, I'm using energy. I'm gonna get up to speed, and then I'll let off so now I'm removing my foot from the accelerator, no brake at all, and you can see I'm slowing. This is me gaining energy. Now if I had more, actually I think that just moved. If I had more um, regen ability here, I'd be slowing even more. So even going down just a small hill like this, you still regain some energy. So if you were to start at the top of a mountain with 10% battery and you went down the mountain, with your regen braking. By the time you got to the bottom, you'd actually have more battery than you started with. So it's a pretty unique uh, benefit to electric cars is you can gain range on the road, as long as you're going downhill, of course. So one small issue with using the brakes so infrequently is they will sometimes collect dirt, a little bit of rust, rocks in there, and so you'll more often notice that that's a false positive, interesting. Um, you'll more often notice at slow speeds that your brakes are getting squeaky um, because you're just not using them. They're building up with stuff and the way to kind of take care of that is just pump them. You know, when you're not moving, you can just do it in your driveway or whatever. Um, just put the brake all the way to the floor a few times and that'll kind of clean them out. And you can do it at slow speeds too to help get rid of some of that buildup. This is a good a show of regen. So I'm just letting off the accelerator. I'm actually using the accelerator to go or else I'd go too slow. So now I'm not touching anything. So I made it to 
four miles an hour and I'm actually, I still haven't used the brake at all. I need to speed up. Now I'll use the actual brake. And now I can go. So it's really nice because since I'm barely ever using the actual disc brakes, they pretty much never need to be replaced. Um, Tesla says they can last the lifetime of the car. It's not always true. Uh, if your regen is limited very often, you know, all the way down to the middle, and you're having to use the disc brakes a lot, or if you make emergency stops often, which hopefully isn't true, but, you know, if you're slamming on the brakes all the time, then of course you're using them, you'd have to replace them. But if you're driving, you know, the Tesla the way you're supposed to be driving it, then you'll never replace the brakes, you know, unless you're driving the car 200,000 or 300,000 miles. All right, so at the end of the drive, you can see up here, no dashed line, which means we have full regen. So you just warm the battery up. It took about 20 minutes or so on the highway and all the dashed lines were gone. All right, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll see you next time.